If we'd have been doing this program in the 1960s, it would have all been in black and white, like this. Feature films, of course, had been swinging over to color for many years before that, but there's still a, a vast library of thousands of films that are in black and white that are virtually ignored by television programmers for that one fact, the fact that they're in black and white. Well, now a Canadian company, HRS Industries, here in Toronto, have started developing a technique which can colorize old black and white movies electronically. The process involves an electronic scanning of the black and white picture on a television monitor, breaking it into a grid of over half a million dots, and then registering the brightness of each dot in a computer's memory. Here, in this scene from the Laurel and Hardy classic, The Fixer Uppers, an operator working with a director adds colors to the various components of a black and white scene, one by one. It looks easy, but the procedure has been telescoped considerably to make this demonstration. The actual process takes a good bit longer. Okay, you want to do her dress in red. All right, let's fill her in. Yeah, that's good. Let's try uh, him in for blue then. They've really got to start the whole thing from scratch. Because there were no records kept uh, of the color of the old movies, the sets and the designs and costumes, it's virtually up to the art director's discretion. And unless he makes the right choices, you could end up with disastrous results. So what they do is to treat every black and white scene as though it's a live original. Okay, we can fill him in. Okay, let's go and uh, do her cape on the uh, roof there. Yeah, that's a good color for it. Okay, let's go try her hair in, uh, let's see what we got. Try her hair in that blue or... Okay, let's have a look. Mm, what do you think? Okay, let's change that suit to something a little more realistic. The art director selects yeah, the colors right. for the various elements in the first frame of a particular scene yeah. quite arbitrarily, often much brighter yeah. than they'll end up in the finished yeah. scene. Okay. They use an electronic palette of some 4,000 hues and over 100 luminance values. And by selecting them with what's called a mouse, they just draw with that color or fill in whole areas with it or change them around until that particular frame is finished. Fortunately, though, they don't have to do the same thing for each individual frame. Well, one thing that helps simplify the whole process is that once they've colored a room, for instance, in a particular scene, then that remains set for the whole of the scene. And all the computer's memory has to worry about is keeping track of and changing the color of objects that move. It's relatively easy for the computer to keep track of moving objects, because normally only about 2% of the dots in a picture change brightness from one frame to the next. Gentle George. Deceitful George. George, look out! Look in my eye. Look in your eye. Oh, George. Hmm? You're getting transparent. You're fading. It can't be. It, it mustn't be. The film is transferred scene by completed scene onto one inch videotape until the film is finished. The 25 minute Laurel and Hardy two reelers take about 24 hours of work, while a standard 90 minute feature would take about 72 hours. The process has been continually refined and perfected but the results so far have been very encouraging. The company has the rights to all of the old Hal Roach series of Laurel and Hardy films and feels that the process could revitalize virtually any of the old classics from the black and white era. And at a fee of $2,000 a minute to do the job, they're sitting on a gold mine. Well, some people feel that black and white movies would lose half their charm in color, but the fact is that nobody wants to put black and white movies onto videotape because the customers don't want to buy them or rent them. But if they were colored, then there'd suddenly be a vast new reserve of potentially profitable 
color movies that, as far as the TV and video industry was concerned, just simply didn't exist before. How long do you think I'll be in here, Doctor? Oh, at least a couple. You big! Oh, 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 oh. 